Hello, and on behalf of the Accutech crew, thank you for looking at our YouTube channel. Some of you may be receiving requests for quotes, sometimes known as RFQs or RFPs, from your customers in electronic format, whether it be in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or another delimited text format. From a spreadsheet, you may begin to formalize the quote by recording availability, quantity ordered, as well as pricing. In many instances, your quotes will be turned into a purchase order by your customer in Excel format, thus eliminating manual data input errors while giving you an informative and an invaluable historical database. In this video, we'll first start with an RFQ spreadsheet that may have come from one of your customers. First, let me point out a few things on a spreadsheet that we received from Banks Construction. You will notice that the first seven lines of the spreadsheet are what we would consider header items. Below the header items are our line items, along with product ID, product description, price, and quantity. Typically, your customer may have left the price blank and you would fill in the price, then send the completed spreadsheet back to your customer for review. Your customer may or may not include the quantity. If your customer did not put a quantity, make sure you at least include a quantity of one. Also pay attention to where my fields are located. The line item is in column A, product ID is in column B, the quantity we are quoting is in column D, and the price we are quoting is in column E. For this video, I purposefully included an item that is not in our inventory, and that line item is number 13, or in this case, row 20 in your spreadsheet. Now we're going to go ahead and tell Excel to save this as a text file. So I'll click Save As, and I'm going to click my down arrow and choose a text file. We'll click Save, and Excel's given us a few messages, and I'm done. So now let's go ahead and enter a quote for Banks Construction. I'll pull up Banks. I'll continue. And the system will go ahead and ask me when my quote expires. In my case, I have auto expiration turned on. I'll click continue. Once we get to the line item screen, I will click the yellow down arrow next to the product ID field and choose the import into quote option. Once I click on the import to quote option, it is asking me for a file name. I'll click the lookup key and choose the text file that we just created. Next, I'm going to instruct the system how many rows to skip. If you recall, we had seven header rows on our spreadsheet, so I'm going to instruct the system to skip the first seven rows. I will tell the system which columns my line number, product ID, quantity, and price are located. In this case, it's going to be in line number is going to be in position A or column A, ID is B, my quantity will be in D, and my price is going to be in E. Let's go ahead and click continue. And the system will first warn me that the prices being imported are not going to be checked for acceptable margins. And it is possible that the prices being imported could be below our cost. The system is suggesting that you run the various reports in the MIS system in order to verify that your imported prices and resulting margins are acceptable. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now you will notice that the system found an item being imported that is not found in your MIS system. It will notify you that the item is going to be placed as a comment field in your quote. Let's acknowledge this warning and the system will import data into your quote. If your salespeople can see cost and margins, which is a user profile control option, you will be able to see the margin on each line item. I can also click the order analysis button and see the profit and margin for the entire quote. Another item to note, you will notice that the system pulled the invalid product ID into your quote and flagged it in a comment line. I'll go ahead and click finished or total at this point. It is critical to understand the power of this feature as we can now convert this quote into an order and or a sales contract. You can also create purchase orders to your vendors from this quote as well. The possibilities of this new feature are endless, as you can now send your product list to your salespeople and customers in Excel format, and then they can simply fill in the quantity needed, and you can then import that data into a quote, and then obviously convert that quote into an order and or a price contract. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy this new feature.